Imagine you just won a contest, and the prize comes in the form of a choice. You get to choose between two amounts of money. You can either choose $100,000. That's right, you can walk away right now with $100,000 in your pocket. Or you could choose one penny. Yes, one penny, which I will double every day for a month. A prize of one cent, which will double in value each day for 30 days. So at the end of the first day, it will be two pennies. At the end of the second day, I'll double it again so you'll have four cents. At the end of the third day, you'll be up to eight cents. Why, at the end of the first week, you'll have over a dollar. And I'll do that for 30 days. So, which will you choose? $100,000? or one cent doubled every day for 30 days. The answer lies in the way the value of the second prize is increasing. In a linear function, such as y equals 3x, as the value of x increases, the value of y also increases. When the x values increase at regular intervals, the range values have what we call a common difference of three. Each value is three more than the one before it. When we graph this function, the points form a straight line indicating a constant rate of change. But there is another type of function in which the variable is an exponent, and it's called an exponential function. This function looks different than a linear function. An exponential function is written as y equals a to the x, with the condition that a must be greater than zero and it can't be equal to one. An exponential function behaves differently from the linear function. In an exponential function, such as y equals three to the x, as the x values increase, the y values increase. But unlike the linear function, when the x values increase at regular intervals, the y values have a common factor. Each y value is three times the value before it. See the difference between the way the exponential function increases and the way the linear function increases. The difference is even more striking when you graph the two functions. In business and in the world of economics, Many situations model exponential functions. These models demonstrate what is called exponential growth. Exponential growth occurs when an amount increases by a certain rate over a given period of time. The general equation for exponential growth is y equals c times the quantity 1 plus r raised to the t. In this equation, the C is the initial amount. That's the amount you start with. The R is the rate of change expressed as a decimal, how much the amount is increasing. And the T is the time, the number of days or months or years in which the growth is occurring, all leading to the calculation of Y, the final amount. Here's an example. If a city of 200,000 people projects and plans for a yearly 3% population growth in the near future, how many people will live in the city after five years? So we'll substitute these values into the equation for exponential growth. C is the initial amount, which in this case is the population of 200,000. The one is part of the formula representing the whole amount at any given time. The R is the annual rate as a decimal. 3% as a decimal is 3 hundredths. And T is the time, and the time is five years. So, Y equals 200,000 times the quantity one plus 3 hundredths raised to the fifth power. Using the order of operations, one plus 3 hundredths is one and 3 hundredths then raise that to the fifth power, which is 1.159274. Then multiply by 200,000, with the result after rounding, 2.2.
231,855. The town can project a population of 231,855 in five years. So how does this help you in your choice between the $100,000 or the one penny doubled every day for a month? When the value of an amount of money is doubling each day, it's increasing exponentially. In the equation for exponential growth, the initial amount is one cent, or 0.01, and the rate is actually one, because when you double an amount, it's increasing by 100%. The decimal for 100% is one. So our equation simplifies to y equals 0.01, times two to the T. Now we've already talked about what happens in the first week. After day one, when T equals one, you would have two cents. After day two, you would have four cents. With T increasing all the way to seven through the first week for a grand total of $1.28. There's still time to take the $100,000. Not so fast. Let's continue with the exponential growth by increasing the value of t. Notice as the t value increases at a regular interval of 1, the y value has a common factor of 2. At the end of the second week, we're up to $163.84. But the dollars begin to increase at a greater rate as we're over $20,000 at the end of week 3. On day 24, we pass the $100,000 mark with $2.6 million at the end of week four, and at day 30, we surpass $10 million. So remember, there are many kinds of functions that increase at different rates and model a variety of situations. If you understand the difference between linear and exponential, then you'll always pick the function that makes the most sense. <laughs> <laughs>